putting Singapore's home team, including the police and civil defence force, on the cutting edge of technology. That's the task of a new agency launched by the Prime Minister. It's called the Home Team Science and Technology Agency, or HTX. Prime Minister Lee Hsien Loong says it's part of a government-wide effort to embrace R&D and technology. He said there are plans to expand headcount from 1,300 to 2,000. But attracting top engineering talent won't be easy unless they feel they can achieve something worthwhile and impactful. He also said the work of HTX mustn't be research done in an ivory tower, but should be based on real operational needs. The home team departments must see tech as an integral part of your operations and as something that is central to your mission. Not an add-on, not something exotic, not something to be left to HTX or to the techies or boffins to manage on their own. It's a command responsibility. Every commander, every officer must embrace tech and welcome what HTX can do for them even when using tech means disrupting existing routines and established ways of doing things. HDX has already come up with some prototype technologies which were showcased at the launch. They include a first-of-its-kind vehicle that can detect and intercept drones and a robotic dog that could help save lives. Tan Su Hui with more. Meet Rover X, a robotic dog with an important mission. He's a first responder to support disaster rescue efforts. His job is to go to unstructured terrain too dangerous for humans to enter. And Rover X has help from a friend. This robot crawls through tightly packed debris and rubble. It has a thermal camera, a microphone and sensors to detect human life. Both robots are going through evaluation trials before they're ready for action. And there are just glimpses of the home team's journey into the future. Other examples include latent fingerprinting that enhances the ability to identify suspects and victims. The HTX Forensic Center of Expertise worked with Nanyang Technological University to come up with a nanopowder formulation. With this, further investigative leads such as gender and ethnicity can be obtained from low-quality prints. There are also plans to expand its capability to determine lifestyle biomarkers such as alcohol consumption and smoking habits. Singapore is one of a few security agencies in the world pursuing this research. Detecting drones has also become a lot easier. Currently, a team of officers detects drones up to hundreds of meters away by sight. But this mobile response vehicle can detect the devices up to a kilometer out and with just one officer. The Sentinel is designed to spring into action within minutes to give officers more time to intercept the drones. It will be ready for operational trials with the police in the next few months. With a wide spectrum of capabilities, we hope to introduce some of these new unmanned technologies and robotic systems early to the home team department for them to perform their trials and experimentation uh, based on their specific use cases. So the centre also envisioned um, to push out some of these capabilities and fill them in live operations uh, in the next couple of years. HTX is also exploring an advanced mode of unmanned flight operation using a drone box concept. This box will serve as a base for the drone and it can be placed in dangerous areas such as places where disaster operations are ongoing. It expands the home team's capabilities to deploy drones for long-range complex operations.